Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We continue our training and preparation for Elastic Certified uh, Engineering exam. And today we will uh, discuss a new topic, which is uh, how we, or we're gonna see how we define and use a dynamic template that uh, satisfies uh, a given set of requirements. With that being said, let's jump to the documentation first and see what the definition uh, of the um, of the dynamic template and then we see uh, how we how we use it so dynamic uh, templates as we as we saw uh, previously uh, the templates so it's a way to define the fields and the the type of uh, of each field now we have this dynamic uh, template so if we uh, have a new field for example right um, whatever like we, we will see how we can um, define it like by name by type by um, a pattern we will see like if you if we if we see this pattern of if we see this um, name then automatically or dynamically give this type right so the definition or uh, the uh, dynamic template we have three types so matching uh, mapping type so here <coughs> for example I will see the first example so the first so if if the the field is here for example is a string right and it's a start with the ip uh, right like ip underscore source ip underscore destination uh, ip underscore host whatever or dot host or dot uh, source destination whatever the the rest then automatically and dynamically give a type uh, uh, ip as or give give this field ip as a type right and the uh, the architecture or how we define it so we come here to the mapping we give uh what we call the uh, the dynamic template here here we give it a name so here string or strings as as uh, as ip and here the definition of uh, uh our uh, dynamic template this is the the uh, architecture or this is how we define a dynamic uh, template so here so the first one we saw the type right now let's see uh like how uh, or we have match and uh, and match so to use this one we can use uh for example here a pattern right so if we see a field with this pattern then apply this uh, dynamic template. this is an example so here dynamic template this is uh, the name long as a string so here when it's match the type string like whenever like the input or the field is a string uh, match like this is the uh, this is the name right it starts with uh, long and whatever the rest and in match like we include this pattern and exclude this pattern right this include like whatever it starts uh, with long underscore but exclude like all the fields that finish with underscore text right this is the second example and the last one we have a path right so when we say the path mean it's a nested uh, object like we know like here uh, it's a json right and uh, we have the, let's say uh, a parent and the child and the child like uh, you know like uh, with a dot so this is this is an example so when we have uh, or when we have a nested object in a JSON and we want to define a, a dynamic template or dynamic mapping for it so this is how we do it so we call the mapping dynamic template here right and this is the the field like whatever like all the fields that the parent is name dot whatever the rest and exclude a middle from here give it give it this mapping right so uh, give it this uh, this mapping let's now jump to our environment and we will see or we will uh, uh, we will define this this three dynamic uh, templates and we will give an example and we verify if the example is applied or no right so this is the first one let's copy it let me just copy it Oh, we go another point when you go to the documentation the current one is 8.15 but uh, for our exam you know it's 8.1 so make sure that you change the uh, you change the um, 
other version for the current uh, or for the uh, for the right version so here we come to elastic we come here to stack management sorry we come here to dev tools and here let's define our our first example right so here i will run it so it's it's a true make sure that you don't have this index otherwise it will as we say like this index is existing so all right so what we did here we define a ma uh, this mapping so if we extract or if we get now the my my index so here we have the, the dynamic template right so we have the ip whenever like the field um have this value or this um uh, the field starts with IP and it's a string then convert it automatically to a type uh, IP I have an example here I will copy paste it here we go so what we have here so I will change just this index I will put the right index here right. let me remove this here we go so here what we're gonna do or what we're gonna yeah we're gonna index this document uh in the in the index uh our index here and this the ip source and destination so as you can see here it's between double quotes mean uh it's or if we did not define the uh, dynamic template here it will be string but in our case we want it to be as as an ip uh type right um, we need it as or we need to make sure that it's using uh, IP as a type so here now if we run here we go the uh, the document is created now let's make sure or let's um, extract the mapping or let's extract the one second if I do my index here we go so here as you can see IP destination is IP and IP source is uh, SIP. We did not define anything for the message, that's why we saw it as text and the keyword, right? And this is the, the dynamic. This is, um, this works fine, right? Let's now go back to the documentation and let's get um, uh, the second one, which is, yeah, match mapping type. Let me just extract the, uh, or let me copy the, uh, the mapping. Give me one second. Here we go. So I will, I will uh, copy this, uh, this. Okay. So this is what we'll do. Dynamic templates. We have integer. So here we'll co convert the integer to integer automatically, right? And here we'll uh, convert the string to text and keyword, or put the string as uh, text and the keyword. Right. Let's use this example and see how it will do and then we will use another example so one second i'll copy this one i'll just put it here here we go so here we define a new index or sorry it's the same index so if we're uh, sorry let's define the new index to avoid any yes like this so we define it if we extract the uh the index the settings and the mapping so we see here the dynamic template whenever it's uh, long convert it to integer and whenever it's a string put it as uh, a keyword and um, and the text right let's take the examples that we have here in the in the documentation and let's run it here Here we go, document uh, created. If we extract now the document, so we see here in our mapping, we see, one second, sorry, let me just do this. So I will do it here, perfect. And now if I extract, so here I have my integer, which is this one, as an integer, not float. And here my string as text and the keyword right if now let's take another example i will create a new index and this time we will see the other patterns or how we um 
uh, we use a specific uh, suffix so here I will create a new index I call it my index 3 uh, to do yes here we go so here what I'm doing wherever the field like we saw here in this uh, in this example like when it, whenever it's a start with this suffix and here when it's end with this suffix when it's end with a date please give a type uh, date and use this format so we run this right and let's take an example or let's let me just copy paste the example for you here we go I will do this so it's it's post my index 3 and here document and here I put the value this is the document so I have this field if I map it like if we don't have dynamic mapping here it will be string right it will be as a text and the keyword but since I define this mapping here it will be a date so let's see how this will go so I run it's created everything is good now it, if I extract or if I run this command so this one so if I go and search for event the event date here we go so this is the event date this is the date this is the format and this is even if we are or this is like true if we if we run my index 3 underscore search here we have the date right and it's uh, it's in uh, in a date format right now let's go back to the documentation and see if we can take here we go this is yeah this is the thing that we did not try yet which is in much so how we include and exclude like include this pattern and exclude this pattern uh, include this suffix and and exclude this pattern so let's go and and try it so just go here There we go. I will add. I will do this. So whenever the the field is a string, right, and it's between or it's a start with a long and not end with a text, then convert it to a long. I run. Let's copy paste the uh, the command here. Here we go. So here, it's a start with a long and not finish with with a text. Mean. It will the dynamic template will applied on this one and will exclude this one why because this is start with a long right and both start with a long but we have another condition which is in match mean it will exclude text this one finish with underscore num or number then it will apply on this one and this will match the end match mean will not apply on this one so if we run it like this here we go it's created now if I do my index four like this so if i go to a long number here we go so it's applied on this one and not on this one and this is the the dynamic template right let's see yeah and finally uh, the uh, the nested object so here we said um if we want to apply um or if we have a nested uh, object or json like uh, a parent dot child then we can use the path match and the path and match. So this is the this is an example. Sorry, I come here. I will, I will add it. I will just change the index. Here we go. Now it's good. Now what's what's this uh, um, dynamic template will do? Whenever we have a nested field which is name dot something. And in match, like it's much this pattern and not this one, or plus the not this one. The uh, whenever it's a start with a name and finish with something else, not a middle. So here, give it um, a type text. So here, if we extract the the index, so five. Oops, I'll take this one. So here is the dynamic template here. Let's now index the document and see what we will have in the results, right? Here we go. This is uh, the example. So here, 
like we said, whenever it starts with a name, mean this starts with a name and not finish with the middle. So this finish with the middle. So this will be excluded, but this one and this one will be included. So this dynamic template will apply on name dot first and name dot last, right? So let's change the index number like this. Here we go. Now let's run the, the comment. So here what we have. So um, we said, yeah, so name dot first and name dot last it's text text right and copy to full name and name dot middle the one that we excluded it's text and the keyword which is the default uh, pattern it will give a text and the keyword but here we give two instruction like give it just a text don't give a keyword and copy it to another field another field we call it full name right so if we go to the full name we will find name dot first name dot last right um, there is a few examples uh, here in the uh, in the uh, documentation, like how you use, for example, uh, variables, how you use uh, other uh, uh, other thing related to the dynamic template. So feel free to apply and uh, and see. And uh, please let me know if you have in the uh, comment section if you have any uh, any question. Without further ado, we'll see you in the next video.